Oh, hello guys. We start off with a cute cutscene here of someone walking from the Portia Harbor. And it has a name, Pa. So I'm guessing this is our father in the game. Collectively, our father. <laughs> well, are you going to say anything or are you just going to stand there gaping? Um, let's say a homeless person. <laughs> I can't believe it. I leave for a bit and my own kid forgets my face. Huh? I get they must match it to your hair color, right? I'm not sure if it matches my eye color. It might be. It? it might be green. Gosh, ten years? Eleven. Eleven years. What are you doing here? What? I can't Is there a robot? <laughs> you normally don't. Mm hmm Don't be so cold. I just came back from the expedition to the eastern reaches. I just wanted to see how you're doing. Well, I'm actually doing well enough. Partly thanks to the workshop you gave me. Hmm. No, it was all you. I just left you a shack. I knew you'd be someone great once you find your footing. Pa, will you be staying at my house? Don't worry about it. I'll crash your presents. Good, because you don't have a guest room. <laughs> Um, so while that does kind of continue the story, it doesn't really, um, I... come with quests. I'm learning more and more about the world from Petra. So I don't know what we're going I... to do, but anyway, let me do a proper introduction. Good morning, everyone. I'm Barry. Welcome back to Let's Play My Time with Portia. And that was just our fault. I guess it didn't match my hair because mine's like pink. I, I guess it kind of did. Um, let's take a look at- oh shoot, I, I'm pressing the wrong buttons. <laughs> I've been playing a different game lately and sometimes it happens where you're just kind of like confused. I didn't know Albert and Gust had back-to-back -back birthdays. So I'm assuming there must be something more that's going to happen with Pa in a bit. We just kind of have to- oh, there is a quest. I didn't see that earlier. There's Summer Wind and Toby's New Sword. So let's go ahead and pick up a Commerce Commission from the Guild. Oh, it's not open yet. Oh, it's open now. Um, my voice might be a little weird because I've been up the entire day and it's like hey. 1 a.m. right now, but Dr. whatever. Shu, my idol. Every time I think of him, my heart- Oh, I'm sorry. I, I really need to get better at like cutting those lines off. Um, I don't really want a difficult commission. Sure, leather belt is fine. Um, I wonder what can we do with Pa? I see a lot of new buildings around town. I'm sure you had your hands on some of them, right? New buildings around town, like, I guess it's just a museum, right? That is new, that we took a part of. We did the lights for the town. So that also was something. But other than that, not much more. I didn't bring my horse. But anyway, let's go on and over to, I'm assuming this is Martha's Bakery. Do I still have dog food for scraps? Uh, gift. Do I have dog food? There it is. It's the last one of two, so. I'll have to make more if I want to keep giving it to you. Scraps. To be fair, I'm not really... I haven't really like been playing... Um, kind of completing things. I thought it was Martha, it's Toby. Hey! What's up? Hey to- oh my god, I sniffled. You know what? I've realized that something is missing in my life. Ooh. Like what? Good question. I thought about it a lot. And finally realized. Yeah. I need to get a sword. Okay. I used to have one, but Miss Lucy took it. What's she gonna do with it anyway, huh? <laughs> she wouldn't be acting so tough if I had my sword. And then watch her like just get the sword again. But see, now that you're here, you can make me another one. That's easy for you, right? Um. Sure. And make it a hardwood sword, not some dinky old practice sword. Isn't that 
Yeah, it's it's still a practice sword. <laughs> like, isn't that what a hardwood sword is? Like, I got so confused because I know practice swords um, are made of hardwood. So that's why I thought, well, since they're here, it's fillers. Yeah, let's. Just we might as well do it. Have you gotten used to Portia yet? It's different from Barnarok, isn't it? For me, I always miss the cool breeze back in my hometown during the summer. Portia is always extra muggy during the day. Wish we had a. Is she gonna say air conditioner? That's it. A fan. We need a fan here in the clinic. Dearie, since you're here, please find me one. <laughs> you're lucky you're cute, Phyllis. Hello. If we only had a fan in here, that'd be great. I'm, I'm gonna work on it, Phyllis. Goodbye. Stop this. Wait, I have fan. I can just give her a fan and a sword. I have that too. Oh, Django is really waiting. <laughs> My bad. So let's go grab that sword, old equips, weapon. Oh shoot, where did I put it? Guys, it's just like staying organized in these games is so hard. <laughs> um. They're both just practice swords, no big deal. Let's grab one... I don't know if I, I have a fan in my inventory. No, it's a washing machine. Let's grab a fan from inside. There has to be like at least two fans in here. Trust. Uh, exactly two fans in here. Let's just pick up our... I, I don't know what it does. It might be like a stamina thing, but whatever. <laughs> Like, most of my stats don't matter to me at the moment, anyway. So we have a fan, we have a practice sword, now we just need to craft these, um, leather belts here. Um, put all of our stuff in there. Auto work table. It would be on this giver, right? No, it's on the craft one. This one. Leather belt. Leather belt. Leather belt. I have five of these? What? Where are they? <laughs> Jeez. We have to look for them one by one. Uh, was that it? No. No, no. Mm. Oh, here it is. Okay. Um, we'll take my horse this time because I am, I don't want that. I'm pretty lazy. So, let's just do... Oh, they're both here. Are they? Phyllis? This feels so awesome. Thank you. So if you're playing through this, you've probably already encountered fans by the time she asks you this. But, you know, you can just, you can just find them ruined diving. No big. They're pretty common. By the way, what's summer like in Highwind? Mm hmm Hmm. It's much cooler than here. And there are valleys, lakes, and grasslands everywhere. You can hear the breeze rustling through the trees as it caresses your skin. I do miss it sometimes. But you know what? I love it here in Forsha. I'm learning from the best doctor around, and I'm chasing my dream. Someday, I'll open my own clinic. The thing that I find kind of sad about this is because you can only help Phyllis open a clinic if you're in her, like, romance um mission the good thing about it is you don't have to marry her to do it i don't think but it's a pretty straightforward mission where you help like craft the things that go into her clinic and it will open in the desert town to it. i don't know if, if it'll open if you're not dating her but there is an achievement link to it in case you ever like want to do it so next we have the Commerce Commission here with Russo. Hello. Chat. Yes, I'm in a hurry to buy some food for Miss Ginger. And the only one missing now is we have to give Toby's sword. I'm assuming this is going to be. To be fair, if it were me, I would say, um, you know, you're too young to have a sword, Toby. But also, I want. Wow. Really sharp. 
Now I can go to... Uh, I mean, thanks! I'll be really careful. See you later! Mm -hmm. Well, all in all, it is a positive thing. Cat painting? Okay. Well, that's about it for this day, I think. Um, but I'll cut into the next day. I feel like when I was first doing these Let's Play, it was always like an episode a day. But now it's like two... I mean, one day is one episode. Now it's like two days is an episode. But I'll cut out most of it so we can just see if anything happens tomorrow. And if nothing happens tomorrow, we'll just end it there. Basically. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Hello, sleepyhead. I have a message to deliver. Presley and your father are having a meeting at the Commerce Guild and they want you to join in. And with that, I bid you farewell. Good morning, everyone. And like I thought, we do have a continuation of our father's arrival in town. So they want us to go join them at the Commerce Guild, which won't be open for a bit. And we also have an important fireside meeting tonight, and I bet it has something to do with the father being here in town. Um, that said, is this harvestable? No, not yet. Is any of this harvestable? Nope, not yet. Forge. Is this harvestable? No, not yet. <laughs> Nothing is harvestable, you guys. <laughs> uh, material storage. I do have a lot of stuff in my inventory. Let's just see if we can sort everything out here. Let's go on over to the Commerce Guild and see what they kind of want to happen here. Um, like I said, it's not yet open, so we'll have to wait. Unless I did this perfectly. Nope. Barely waited. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and remember that time you blew up the engine and old Russo's face? Aww. Oh. Don't remind me of that. Flora was watching as well. Who is Clara, the mayor's wife? I think so. Oh, glad you're here. We're just reminiscing about our youth. Your pa here has a proposal for you, and I'm really looking forward to it. Okay. What is it? Let's have a builder bout. A builder bout. What? It's a contest between builders to see who builds better. Okay. I know what it is, but why? But why? Why not? I heard from Presley you're one of the best in Porsche now. I want to see just how good you are. <laughs> I... Look. Aww. I know you probably have a stomach full of hurt over me not being there for you. But being a builder is really the only thing your old man's good at. And I really want to make up some of the lost father-daughter time. That's pretty cool that they probably voiced, um, the voice actor recorded that twice. Just to have, like, father-son time as well. about is a real strange way of showing it. Fine, I'm up for it. Hmm. Well now, I'll be the official judge for this bout. Let's see, since you're both great builders, let's go for something exciting! Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ever since the Sky Sharks incident, the Alliance has been ordering as many planes as possible. But, as you know, the planes are some of the most sought-after commodities in the world. The relic parts are very limited. Mm-hmm. So, your build-about is to make an airplane. I have two diagrams available for you to use, but you'll need your own materials for the plane. Hope you can finish the plane as soon as possible. May the best builder win! Are you going to be using my workshop, Pa? Oh. I think I'll just borrow Higgins, hope he doesn't mind. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll need to talk with Arlo to find out where to find the jet engine, and with Petra to figure out how to make the landing gear. Alright, so this is... Pretty. Hey. I don't care about you, Cressy. I just the wanted to go out, get out. But I feel like I'm taking part in the talysis of the world. And the talysis of the world. Move. Oh, oh, should I get one? A linen rug. I want to do that. 
Pot of Asteria, don't have Asteria. One metal storage, I can probably do that. Um, let's not do anything. <laughs> we have some quests to do. <laughs> so we have to talk to Arlo and Petra. Um, I'm gonna take a look at the diagram of the um, of what we need right Thank after I talk. Engine. Is this for that bout you're having with your pa? He told us some wild stories about his adventures in the eastern reaches. Rard travels fast, you guys. Like, I just came out of the Carmers Guild. Anyway, we haven't really found any jet engines around Porsche yet, but I would venture to guess all source knows the layout of this area more than we do. You should probably ask her. So it's perfect that we talked to Arlo before we talked to Petra, because now we just have to make one trip to the Science Center. Oh, and I have one more dog food for you. Awesome. So, obviously I don't have the jet engine, so that's something that we will have to look at. Before we talk, let's take a look at the handbook, because it should be here. Um, take a look at the index, it's got to be the last page here. It looks like it's it's not made of multiple parts, is it? So carbon fiber. Um, we'll have to get from. I have nineteen of these. We need more. Like, basically, we need forty plus five of these. I have these. I can probably make this. I probably. Oh, the jet engine I can probably make. Everything else here is pretty easy. The titanium plates I haven't made. I don't have a stock of that. So we'll have to start crafting titanium plates. Um, but everything else should be pretty quick and easy. You guys just had to pick building a plane, huh? Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Presley did the picking. Well, it's a tough objective. Most of the planes in the Alliance are built in Vega 5 because everyone else lack the tools and know-how. And I'm glad you already have the diagram for the plane because we wouldn't be able to figure it out for you otherwise. Oh. I still need help with the landing gear. Ooh. Yeah, I'll need five data disks for that. I'll get started poking around. I remember the director had a book about planes she took from Vega 5. I wonder if that's something we'll need. Great. I've already made some progress. This will certainly help. He took one step away from me. Sure, that's progress. Hello? If you find anything of value from the old world, please donate it to us. Okay, now let's talk to Wendy. You're looking for jet engines? Why? Are you trying to start a war? Wars are bad. I don't like wars. I also don't like wars, Wendy. I'm trying to build an airplane in a competition. Mm -hmm. Planes are cool. I've been on many planes, big and small. I don't like small planes. I know. If you guys haven't been on planes, small planes experience more turbulence, while big planes are more steady. Are there any jet engines still around? Even in landing. Around Porsche? Yeah, several facilities manufacture jet engines around here. Have you seen manufacturing plants? Do you still have that in the current age? I was built in a manufacturing plant. Mm. Uh, I don't think there are any now. Do you know the nearest facility that built jet engines? Let's see. Here's the craft recipe in my memory data. Here you are. All right. Thanks, all source. So I have to make it myself. Oh, cool. Jet engine. Will military easy. So while that's going on, let's just get started um, getting everything. We'll obviously need to, we'll need to go up to the civil core and put an order in. But I don't want to. Oh, 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 oh! I was like, I don't want to do it without a horse. And I'm like, wait a minute. That's what TD stops are for. So we'll put in orders for the carbon fiber because I don't want to 
um, be scrambling for carbon fiber and I like doing things pretty fast and speedy. I like being prepared for the missions by having a stock of everything on hand and ready to go. But sadly, I don't have enough carbon fiber for that. Um, so we just need to figure out... This one gives five, right? Let's check item collection. Nope. So it has to be this one. Um, wow. Do you see how expensive that is? Um, how much money do I have? Do, I, do you see how expensive that is? Oh yeah, because I wanted to get the, um... Let's just make two postings of this. We'll make that money back. <laughs> it's no big deal. <laughs> but anyway, let's try... So now we need to get back to the workshop. We'll start with the titanium plates. Plates will also need wind wheels. Um, I should just take a look at that, that again. Handbook. I thought H was for handbook. We're gonna need to collect all the materials and process in the factory. We're gonna need 30 titanium plates. Um, I'm not sure how to make it. I know we need titanium ore. I'm not sure where to get it. I just know I have some of it. But also, it should say here. Uh, well, it doesn't say there. It should say here on the factory then. <laughs> so, let's go to the furnace. Uh, no, cutter, cutter, cutter. Which one's the cutter? Titanium plates. Glad we're growing some sapphire here, but we only have 29. Um, it doesn't take a lot, so I'm gonna do it in tens. Ten. 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 Alright. Um, the other thing that we need is strength and glass. I already have ten, so we don't need more. We have this. I have that. So we can just craft a smart console. Um, wind wheel, we're going to need to make, as well as aluminum plates. So, let's go ahead and make some aluminum plates as well. We'll do 15 of these. And we need wind wheels. Shoot, I don't remember how many we need. <laughs> I probably should have remembered. We need one for the jet engine. We have lead bars. We have power stones. It's this and this that are going to take a while. Um, we need one wind wheel. Oh, I, f I know it will be faster if I craft it on my own, actually. Um, what do we need for a wind wheel? Wind wheel, wind wheel. Sure, let's just craft one. Um, let's go back and look at it again. Um, so we're done with this part. We're done with this part. This part. You know what? I'm probably not going to be building anything apart from this unless the landing gears need to be built. If so, the landing gear gears will just have to go into. I won't need one of this. Okay, what's missing for the jet engine is the wind wheel, which I am currently crafting. So let's brace the smart console. Um, we just need to oh, put some of this stuff back. And the seed. We also need the seed and we need this. So, fuel pack. 
single seat. All right. What's missing? Titanium plates is gonna take a while. Carbon fiber 20, you're gonna need that. S strength and glass, I already have it. And the landing gear, we're going to need to wait. Um, we're going to need sapphire, which is going to be a bit of a problem. But I only need one more and my Cristela tree is almost ready. What was I here for? Strength and glass. Ores, furnace should be here. Um, I think we just need 10, right? 14. Okay. Let's put this down here. It's already starting to take shape. It's just the landing gear is really going to take a while and all that carbon fiber. In the meantime, I need to take a look at where to get titanium ore. Oh, I have a lot. So I guess I don't need... I don't need... Um, the, titanium ore, we just need the sapphire. Is that correct? This is happening. This is happening, this is happening. This is done, this is, oh no. This is going to be done. This is done, this is done, 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 done. This is happening. These two kind of need to happen. I'm gonna have <laughs> too much carbon fiber. Did I only get crystals? My heart, guys. I didn't get any sapphire. So since we didn't get any sapphire and we still have time, really the only place you can get sapphire is um. What happened, by the way? Oh, it's just from the thing. Okay, the only place we can really get Sapphire is on Amber Island, and I don't really want to go to the um, inside the thing, so we'll just mine outside and hope for the best. <laughs> I know it's these things that drop the Sapphire. Power Stone and Crystal this crystals just have to keep doing it every day you guys every day you have to check is that all of the crystals on amber island oh oh you know what you know what where where there's more i think is on starlight island maybe We'll, we'll go take a look. But I'm not entirely sure. Um, if there is. I just remember there being some there. So we'll go ahead and have a look-see. I'm not sure how long the travel time between these two, like, two Starlight Island, I, Starlight Island and Bag takes, but I thought I, I thought it had like crystals, or am I like going crazy? Whoops, that's not a crystal. It's a mushroom. I guess this is a gatherable, but. This is this must be what I've seen and not like actual crystals that I can mine. What's that coconut? Yeah, because I don't think there is any and I just wasted time. But yeah, I guess I'll just have to keep looking for a crystal. I have other crystal oh oh those are like See, oh wait, never mind, I thought they were. I was like, can I do this? No. I guess we'll just take these corals. 
Not that I have any use for them. But I really did thought there were crystals here that I could mine. Like, worst case, we just mine... Uh, I just go inside the haunted house every day <laughs> to get one sapphire. I don't know how long before my crystalla trees will start bearing fruit. So that's also like not a great kind of option. But yeah, so that's kind of all that we're missing. Carbon fiber and one one sapphire. <laughs> Carbon fiber, one sapphire. And the titan oh wait, the titanium plates are and whatever we need for the landing gears. I mean quite a bit for those because it's like was it four or six landing gear gears that we need? So it's going to be a bit of a grind as well. I'm assuming most of it is going to be in the somber marsh abandoned ruins. So I'm gonna spend the rest of the day at the somber marsh abandoned ruins. But there's really no point of me going there now because- oh wait, I guess I can. Yeah, I guess I have some time. I think I can do it. Um, I'm gonna go and ruin dive at the somber marsh abandoned ruins until we go to the fireside. So I will be back with you guys in a bit. Hey guys, welcome back. DD Stop makes the perfect transition. Anyway, let's go on here and attend the fireside meeting. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Nice of you to join me here tonight. All right. Tonight, I have a wonderful guest to introduce to you. He was one of our best builders here in Portia before he went off and became an adventurer. Now his daughter is one of our best builders. That's me. The old folks should remember him pretty well, especially Mr. Russo, right? Please give a warm welcome to Maurice. It's just like a Maurice. joke. Maurice, that's his name, okay. Thank you, Mayor Gale. It's so nice to be back in town. I've loved it so much here. Although I saw a lot of changes, the people here are still the same. Friendly and warm-hearted. Aww. When I told my daughter to come here, I really felt that this town would welcome her with open arms. Thank you all for taking care of her. Tell us about your adventures! <laughs> <laughs> well, where should I begin? Anywhere from the you know start. The peripheries border most of the countries and kingdoms in the world? Beyond that, you have the Great Bajondin, which no humans have set foot in. Well, over on the eastern reaches, it's basically covered by a Great Bajondin. I have no idea what a Great Bajondin is. Wow! Wow. Yeah, we weren't able to reach too far inland since it was so dangerous. But AI machines and strange creatures crawled all over that land. Spooky. Wonder if they would make a game about that too. Because I think it would be pretty cool, um, where it's like more fighting oriented, kind of like a um, dungeon crawl, but not a dungeon, if it's not a dungeon. AI machines. Yeah, we didn't really get to see much, but it seemed like they were following a hierarchical structure. Oh, cool. Interesting. I must know more. Sure, we can discuss it afterwards. I'll be around for a while. Oh, I wonder if he leaves anyway, the town as well. It's good to see all the familiar faces. Good to be back. Thank you, Maurice. It's good to see you again as well. It'd be cool if after like this arc, he leaves the town and then he periodically comes back. That's all for today, folks. If you stick around, we have some free seaweed burritos to offer you thanks to Marsha. Seaweed burrito. Oh, I, I know what those are. I like those in real life, not in the game. Because I can't eat them in the game. There you go. Enjoy the burrito. Aren't you glad your pa's back? So in the end, we only captured two pirates. Oh. <laughs> the captain and the rogue knight all got away. Django told me that if he didn't let that knight go, more of the town would have been damaged. Maybe even lives lost. I believe him. Oh. All right, you guys. 
So that's gonna be it for now from me. But thanks so much for hanging out with me. Um, the next time, hopefully, we're able to progress building the dragonfly a bit more. I'm gonna continue digging in the somber marsh just to make sure that I get more materials. But thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!